Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh First of all, my name is Faida Farisha binti Muhammad Faizal And today I will present the final presentation for Gomba Art and Handiwork Center for Batik As you can see, this is the compilation of the boards to show the overview of my presentation now, I'm going to present my first part. This project is art and handiwork center designed for Bati with the purpose of preservation. The site is located at Kampung Sungai Pusu, which is located approximately 2.5 km from IIUM Gombak Selangor. Kampung Sungai Pusu is a small village with a peaceful and serene environment as the village is located at a hilly area. Moving on to the client synthesis, my client is Farah Mohan who is a batik maker and have her own business in this art field. She lives at Damansara Kuala Lumpur with her spouse and two daughters. The preference from her are traditional contemporary design, lots of landscaping, have water elements and want a private workspace. Next is the President Study Synthesis. The first one is Visual Art Center from China which have 3000 meters square for the area. The things that I can synthesize from this building is the facade block, the direct sunlight, and the elements in this building blend with nature such as green courtyard, greenies and also garden space. Other than that, the exhibition area is next to the entrance to ease all the visitors. After that, the craft art center from Kuala Lumpur with the area 4000 meters square. This building have shopping area for the visitors that coming to the center and got an area for stamping, hand painting bati and also workshop. This will attract the visitors to come and get to know how to make bati by themselves. And lastly is the center of Islamic craft also from Malaysia which is 3000 meters square for the area. This building has open courtyard and water elements, private space for the client and Islamic pattern on the dome and at the entrance. Plus, the building has a lot of openings to maximize the view and the nature around it. And then the case study. I took three case studies which are building on slope. The building will cut and fill the leveling ground by adding and removing the soil to make sure the building is in a stable condition on the slope. In addition, I also want to use steel column at some part of the building. Next is the facade. I choose decorative facade like batik patterns to enhance the art center and also function to minimize direct sunlight into the building. The last part is the lattice structure, which is the steel structure that consists of bolt connection, main structural members and also bracing system. Moving on to my concept. My concept is centrifugality. It means being centrifugal, tendency to move or be dispersed away from a center or any axis. The concept chosen for the center is derived from batik motif. Each pattern became from axis from one point or center and spread to other part following the axis. The axis line keeps the elements together and create nice floral motif either in symmetrical or asymmetrically. For design process, firstly, is the axis that I took from the site. I am from site B. The best view is towards the northeast. From the entrance to the best view which is the hill and the second axis is from wind direction to the view which is the forest. Secondly, by the intersect from the two main axis. I chose one center and adding the lines following the best view axis. That's how I got the shape. Then I make the form and do a recess and relief to do a courtyard at the center. Lowering the front part of the building to emphasize more the best view and adding the second floor spaces for the private area. Lastly, defining the spaces in linear organization, emphasizing back the main axis which is our entrance, view and wind direction. The axis allows the building to have natural ventilation while benefiting the best view surrounding. The main axis connects all the building together and become the main circulation for the building. Next for bubble diagram, the levels are divided specifically according to the activities and target user of the building. The green color indicates public space allowing all the visitor to coming in and out. Meanwhile, first floor level serve as semi-public spaces for public to do their own body. Private space located on top floor highlights on the client and staff as the user of the space. 
it offers great privacy while getting the visual support from large window towards the hill. Moving on to my site plan, site B with a total area of 2000 meter squared, the space planning in this plan is the public space was determined by the accessible route from the entrance. The route is accessible for loading and unloading process at the end of the site, meanwhile the drop off and parking area located near to the entrance for easy access. The outdoor facilities include parking area, landscaping and central courtyard, loading bay and service area located at the back of the site. That's all for the first part. Next is my second board showing all the floor plans of the building. This is the ground floor plan emphasizing space inside. Trintum have the central courtyard that become a heart of the building and also act as the cooling medium for ventilation. As you can see the plan prioritize views, landscape, solar orientation, cross ventilation and space planning along the strong axis. The space also derived from this precedent study in China where the entrance connect all the spaces in the building. For the ground floor plan, the first part is building area consists of lobby and waiting area as it is directly from the drop-off point and entrance. There are also a main stair at the lobby to ease the visitors to go to the first floor. There are two way in the ground floor as you can see the upper part for the main attraction which is the exhibition area and the souvenir shop and the pathway at the center of the building is the part where people can go outside the building to see the greeneries courtyard that have water features that follow the shape of the slope. Next is the lower part that have public facilities areas such as toilet and musola facing north for the view of the forest at the back of the building. At the end of the building, there is a cafeteria to emphasize the best view and has an open corridor for the visitors to relax. The loading area located at the end of the part of the building to ease the loading and unloading process and it attached to the cafeteria. Moving on to the first floor, there is seminar room and learning workshop for the visitors that want to experience the process of doing batik. There is also outdoor workshop that allow the user to enjoy the natural surrounding of the site while doing the trying batik part. All the spaces are taking the advantage of the best view that give the calm and serene effect to the user while carrying out the particular activities. Lastly, the second floor consists of all private spaces such as office and staff lounge where it is for conducting meetings for staff and admin focusing on body art matter. And all of the spaces are getting natural daylight and facing the hill. Thus, all the three floor levels are connected to one internal courtyard that crucial for stack ventilation, allowing the warm air coming from the spaces from the ground floor and the first floor to outside of the building through an outlet lowered openings. Besides, it gives a concept of inside out and allowing natural ventilation passing through the building. That's all for the floor plan. Next, moving on to the elevation and section board. So these are south and north elevation and section XX. As you can see, the elevation emphasizes on the use of glass window on the north side elevation that will filter and show light into the building through the facade. Beside the staff launch on cantilevered area have an obstruct view overlooking the hills. From the section, the open circulation between internal courtyard create cross ventilation inside the building allowing the cool air to come into and warm air going out from the building. Next board will be the east and west elevation and section YY. The elevation also emphasize on the facade that symbolize on the batik center beside act as the sun shading device. The flower pattern on the building is to enhance the batik art and that flower is called as the runtum. Plus, the glass wall for the view with the facade to filter the light and giving the aesthetic value as it harmonizes with the nature environment that's surrounded by woods and also greens. 
Moving on to the sectional detail of the building is reinforced concrete posts and beam while the material used for the building are brick and also steel. Are the part of the building using lattice frame as the column below the cantilevered part and also for the roof. After that, for the last part, there are water supply and sanitary diagram for my building. The perspective of the exterior of Shruntum emphasizes on the facade and primary spaces of the building such as exhibition. It is crucial in giving first good impression to the visitors to extract them. Next, the interior perspective. This is the lobby of the batik, has its own craft on the wall to emphasize the art. The exhibition of batik artwork to give general understanding, exposure and knowledge about batik. And the office area for the privacy of the client which is Farah Mohan. Lastly is my model. Truntrum expressed the minimalist concept for the building, the white paint on building contrasting the color of forest, which is green and highlight on the carving ornamentation and the carving panel that located on centered part of the building. Each spaces has specific relationship with the outside through openings that highlight the connection with nature and the internal courtyard as an atrium in the center of the ground floor area attract the visitors to enjoy the surrounding. The building have a courtyard and Instagrammable area for visitors come and taking picture and share to social media while promoting the batik industry to the world. It enhances the external layout planning, giving a spot for target user to enjoy the site while exploring the activities provided by the center. And this is my construction model that use pools and beam, also lattice structure. Finally, as a conclusion, the building emphasizes on the axis that harmonies with the nature surrounding. Most part of the building are facing the best view that consists of elements of nature, which are the hill and forest along with all the greenery vegetation surrounded the site. I conclude with the Quranic verses that encourage on observing the environment while being grateful for Allah's blessing on Surah Al-Amran verses 190. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. That's all from me. Thank you for watching my videos and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.